My early aspirations were to be a professional ballet dancer and from the age of about six onwards this was completely my focus. I essentially became besotted with dancing from the very first class and I remember liking the fact that I was good at something. I was very lucky to have a supportive family and some very special teachers who believed in me. My ballet training began at a local dance school in West Auckland when I was six years old. By the time I was 14, I was travelling to Wellington, Melbourne and London to receive specialist training and intensive dance programs. When I was 16, I began a three-year diploma in dance performance at the New Zealand School of Dance in Wellington. My primary goal was to gain a full-time contract with a professional ballet company but primarily that meant the Royal New Zealand Ballet Company. My time with the Royal New Zealand Ballet was amazing. I enjoyed being on stage and the adrenaline rush that comes with that. It was great performing to large and receptive audiences and dancing challenging repertoire. I was pushing the limits of my body and mind and always working to improve. Doing an extra turn, lifting my leg a little higher. I was with a focused, hard-working group of individuals who were extremely motivated to succeed, and that in turn motivated me. After several successful years having a professional dancing career, I severely injured my knee. It meant that I needed reconstructive surgery and months of rehabilitation. I did return to my dance career, however I was very aware that my body wasn't going to be able to do this forever. It was about this time I met Associate Professor Ralph Buck, Head of Dance Studies at the University of Auckland. Immediately I knew he was someone I needed to be around. He was energetic, fun and positive, and most of all he had belief in my ideas. He made the prospect of entering postgraduate study exciting, so that's what I decided to do. The transition from dancer to student was a relatively easy one. However, it was a little overwhelming at first as I did have to navigate an entirely new academic language and new expectations. But I adapted quickly and I loved the research so much that I continued from a postgraduate diploma in dance studies right through to a PhD. Now I'm a lecturer in dance studies and I also have the roles of a postgraduate advisor for dance studies and the National Institute of Creative Arts and Industries doctoral studies coordinator. The focus and dedication I learnt from my professional dance career I'm now applying in exactly the same way in my academic career. In both roles there's an element of competition, which I love, and there is always more to find out, more to be investigated and different ways of approaching things. Now I like to stretch my brain in the same way I used to stretch my body as a dancer. From my time dancing with the Royal New Zealand Ballet to now teaching and research, I've realised that the foundation of what I love has not changed. Dance is my passion and it's opened up doors for me in ways that I never would have imagined.